Hey guys, and welcome back for a new video. So, this time it's with the Lancaster. So, as you've probably heard, this plane is uh, a beast. And to respond uh, to this, I say yes, this plane is a beast. It is quite durable. Um, it's not slow like the B-17. I never flown the B-17, but I've seen videos of it. It's really slow, but Lancaster is fast. Sometimes too fast, and you reach the speed limit quite fast. So that is a problem. And then you need to put flaps, but it reaches its speed limit uh, slower than the HE-111. Um, if you've played it, uh, you know what I mean, but people who do not have it uh, you get to the speed limit really fast and it's really annoying because you need to put flaps etc anyways so uh, as you can see right now there's 0 0.5 caliber machine guns on the Lancaster so they deal more damage because on uh, compared to the Blenheim uh, machine guns 0 0.3 caliber so it's not a lot of damage but then you need to shoot well and in this video i did not hit once a plane with it i don't think so and then especially when i'm going to shoot the plane it gets laggy and i get shot down so yeah and my plane basically split in half <laughs> Uh, you will have this problem with the Lancaster where, where uh, you have two of your engines who basically drop off when you're hit by guns. So uh, you're basically left with two engines. I have had that and I crashed because the two engines didn't work. Anyways, over to the tutorial. Um, so I think um, this plane has a lot of bombs. Uh, I think I heard that realistically it did not have that many bombs at all that much less but i am quite happy with the how many bombs it has because you see it has 108 100 pound 100 100 pound bombs and i don't know for the rest of the bombs but i know even 500 pound bombs they are quite a lot so they're not really worth it really unless you're gonna go bomb the ships most of the time i would suggest just taking 108 uh, 100 pound bombs or taking 250 uh, pound bombs because they have a larger explosion radius so if you're not very good at aiming and bomb sites i suggest you take that so as you just seen, there is uh, a, a radio room for the Lancaster. That's really strange because on it's quite rare actually, and there's loads of detail on this plane that I like a lot because you even have a map in the radio room. Um, on the pilot, you have a watch. It doesn't work, uh, unfortunately, but it's quite it's quite strange and it's I think it's really well made. Um. And uh, the unfortunate thing is that you do not have a front turret, and that is a big problem. Well, <laughs> no, uh, forget what I said. You do have a front turret, but it just doesn't work. It just it's not the right place. Actually, it's too high up because uh, if you're head on with an enemy plane, it might work. Most of the time, it just doesn't work, so it's not, yeah, it's not good enough. And also, then the problem with Lancaster is that you don't not have a bottom turret. So when the enemy's airplanes are below you, well, you can't do anything really because the tail turret, <laughs> you can't, you can't aim below really. So yeah, that is a problem. So that's why uh, for strategies, I think Blenheim is better with sticking low and avoiding um, avoiding guns. Uh, that would be a good strategy because then you don't have the problem of somebody being below you and shooting you without you uh, managing, managing to shoot back. So yeah, I think this is um, the Lancaster is better to do that than the Blenheim, I think. Um, so yeah, but with the Lancaster you can do uh, high, 
high altitude strategy bombing can do middle strat strategy bombing can do bombing like i did so carpet bombing um yeah in this video i think once i will try to do um sort of uh, sort of strategic bombing but it doesn't doesn't work at all it just i'm not good at strategy strategy st strategic bombing sorry not very good at talking so yeah so strategic bombing is for experienced players uh experienced players definitely not like me and also for people who like doing that i don't really fancy doing that because it's hard to do you need to align perfectly with the target and just <laughs> i'm just i don't want to go in high altitude because it takes like loads of time and then you then I always tried adjusting the target, but it just didn't work. And so yeah, I'm not. I don't like strategic bombing. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. You should definitely do it and try it. It's really, it's really very uh, good um, type of bombing. Uh, so if you're doing um, high altitude strategic bombing with the Lancaster, go high because otherwise you'll be shot down. You'll always be shot down, even if you're high altitude. But there'll be less chances. And when you're doing strategic bombing. You can't dodge if you're trying to align the target. That's the big problem about strategic bombing. And the Normandy map, because Normandy map is very laggy, and that is because there are too much guns. As you see here, the graphics on the plane are very, very good. Uh, I think they've been really well made. I've, I heard that the model for the um, Lancaster and the Blenheim have been made long ago, so yeah, like maybe a year ago, something like that. And the uh, the developer didn't just didn't put them in the game and here you see is the radio room that's really cool you get the map you get everything like if it was real even if it isn't and you can even see the pilot uh apparent but then um the radio room is useless so yeah sorry for deceiving you uh, maybe in future updates there'll be uh, radio but i don't think so i think it's quite complicated to do and the um, developer is focusing on gunship 4 right now if you haven't heard it, it's the new game uh, that the developer is releasing um, in about six days is the early access. And December 2023 is the official release. But I'm going to be playing the pre-access uh, pre release, so I think I'll make videos about it. So you should definitely like and subscribe to put, put notifications so you can't miss these videos because not a lot of people will have access to the pre access to do a beta version of the game uh so yeah it might be really good and i'm trying to uh, upload um not weekly videos but i'll try to upload quite uh in yeah i'll try to do weekly videos it might be uh, easier something like that but I, I don't have a schedule for the moment because i have uh, loads of school work to do and some sometimes i just can't film footage and sometimes I just can't um, record my voice uh, because it's voiceover since I can't um, film the footage and play it at the same time. It's just not possible. And as you see here, the guns, when I'm in autopilot, have already hit me. And I remember when I was filming the footage, I was saying, oh, well, you know, and I'm, I'm still not hit by the guns. And 10 seconds after that, I am hit by the guns. And then there's an enemy who comes behind me. Uh, so that's the problem in Normandy, you have way too much guns, and when there's enemies, you, it's practically impossible just to pass through, actually. Yeah, I really need to uh, shoot the planes down, or make them crash, or things like that. I, I've only had one case when I managed to make a plane crash uh, intentionally, but that's really rare, yes. so... Yes, um, so I'm sorry for the lag on Normandy map, and... Um, Let's get back to Lancaster. So as you can, as you saw and you can see and you will see, it is a very, very durable plane. Plane, um, one main hit. So on the um, on the main parts of the plane, it's I think most of the sometimes if you're lucky, only uh, displays bullet holes, but does nothing. But sometimes, most of the time, it's just either one engine goes out 
or you start sm the, or there's smoke pouring out so yes and <laughs> that's not because it's not durable it's because <laughs> there are too much guns and they're too powerful it's practically impossible to pass especially when there's bf10s going after you uh so yes and as i said before if you want to dodge guns key the, the speed is key because without it um basically you'll get hit like when i'm turning when i'm uh, bombing an enemy airfield and i'm turning i'm losing speed and that's when i get hit otherwise i don't get hit because i'm too fast for the guns and i try to dodge but when i'm turning it's quite hard to dodge and turn at the same time so that's a big problem but then most of the time um you won't uh, your wing won't come off if it's hit on a main hit on the wing i never had this case um most of the time just displays the bullet holes and either one engine goes out or just sometimes have other cases as i already said where the two two engines drop out of the plane so you have basically a lancaster with two engines and one time out of two the one engine doesn't work so you basically store and crash so yes and as you can see here there's problems with exceeding speed limits uh yeah that's a big problem especially when you want to go low and bomb like this so as i said before this is a really good way for bombing because uh, it's easier to dodge but the only problem is uh the thing never to do is never try to go low when you're speed when you're going front when there's all the guns on the beach see here i'm doing it and there's no guns on the beach because otherwise you get teared by the guns and you get completely wrecked so it doesn't work so there are guns on the airfield but they're far enough so i can avoid them because if there were guns on the beach i would get hit i would get hit by passing over them and most of them most of them turn so that's very very risky I've never tried doing it up front because I saw a video of someone doing it and he never got through. So that's definitely something not to do. Regarding fuel, uh, as you see, for once, I have not taken 100% fuel only once um, because 100% fuel is only, unless you fly for hours, it's practically impossible. Um, you won't need 100% fuel because most of the time you get shot down, right? If I didn't, if there weren't any guns, most of the time maybe I'd crash after an hour, but otherwise I wouldn't crash at all. It's just because there's so much guns and so difficult that that just extra fuel is unnecessary. So yeah, but that they was really like that in these times. So that's a good thing. It's a it's a challenge. So yes, and as you're going low, try not to hit the trees because the trees in Normandy map, if you hit one, your wing goes off. So that's definitely not a thing to do. If it hits your wing, your wing uh, comes off. If it hits a uh, main part of your plane, then <laughs> you basically disintegrate. So definitely not a thing to do. So if you're trying to fly low with the Lancaster uh, gliding in the trees, well, um, you won't survive. So yeah. Even for the people who want to do it with M ME262, it will not work. Unless you have hacks on and that's not a good thing to do. I will not suggest it. So as you see here, 100 pound bombs have 108. So that's a good thing. When you have this number of bombs, is because you can spray, basically. So you don't have, um, like, the Blenheim. It's a little problem with that. You can't really spray bombs unless you, there's only one or two guns left. Because otherwise you'll run out of bombs and then you need to use the machine guns and that takes much more time and it's much more risky. So yes, and the thing with the Lancaster that you can do with the... Bl the thing you can't do with the Lancaster, you can do with the Blenheim, is doing a sharp turn when you're close to the ground and bombing a gun or a truck or anything at the last moment. You should definitely not do with the Lancaster. As you've seen, the... Um, beginning of the video there will be big problems because uh you basically this even if you don't hit the ground your wing will come off because apparently you hit the ground so it's not the thing to do i wouldn't i wouldn't do it if i were you unless you want to die uh with blending you can but 
Lancaster is a big plane, so I mean, it's not meant for carpet bombing like this. So that's why strategic bombing is very, very powerful. Uh, so a uh, good thing with the Lancaster is when uh, you have an objective to bomb a uh, airfield, you have to destroy the runway, and that's when strategic bombing comes in because you just aligning with the runway isn't that difficult. I tried, but I but I didn't I didn't get the right airfield, but it's not that difficult, and you can just spray, and you basically I don't know lose only a few bombs. And you still have plenty to take out all the guns on the airfield, etc. And you'll complete the objective and you get more XP. Um, so uh, regarding this plane, um, the bad thing for the people who don't know how much it costs is 12,000 gold. Yes, they have updated the prices. It's like the B-24, I think, costs 12,000 gold. And that is way too much. So my advice is... Don't buy gold uh, for real money. Uh, tell me in the comments if you don't know how to get gold uh, for free, like loads of gold. I made a video about it, but I think I'll update the video because I found another way it's much better and much less effort. So yeah, and as you see here, I tried to pull a sharp turn and bomb and nearly crash. And one of my engines goes out at the precise moment. That's the best thing ever. Each time I try to bomb something and it's going well, one of my engines is hit and doesn't work. That's quite common with the Lancaster. The good thing is that if you have one engine out, you still have three left. And with three engines, you can make it back to air reload and repair. If it's two engines, I would doubt it. Maybe if you're high altitude, but I don't. I don't think it would be possible, but then it really depends which engines. If it's the two engines of the of the left wing, or two engines on one wing, then you'll be completely destabilized and you'll start turning and it won't work. But if it's one engine on each wing, then you might have a chance, but I really doubt it. So you can try it, um, but it's not a good idea, so yeah. Anyways, um. Coming back to Lancaster, as to its tutorial, I've been going on other subjects all the time. Um, I think it's really a good plane. Uh, for beginners, as I said before, I would not recommend it at all. Uh, it's quite difficult and there's still a little bit of bugs, so the Blenheim MK4 would be better. Um, I made a video about the Blenheim MK4, so you can go and watch it. Unfortunately, it's quite long, so yes, I have a lot of um, music going in there, in the in that video, so yes. So you might like it, tell me in the comments if you like the music in the video, if you don't, tell me and I'll try to change it for the next video. Really, I don't mind, it's like, it's free music, and it's really easy to find. And as you see, I've been trying to lock with the runway, but uh, that's when I realized it's not the right airfield. So it's not the objective, so it's useless and a waste of bombs. So that's when I really wanted to just leave and stop recording and go sulk. But I did not. I continued recording for the sake of the channel. And I think that's a big problem with Normandy map is that, well, it's a good thing, you have loads and loads of things to bomb an airfield. Only problem is, there's too much guns and they're too precise. So I think the good thing to do if it would be um, basically um, not changing the number of guns, but maybe reducing uh, their aim a little bit. So, yeah. And here I had the stupid idea of trying to bomb a plane, but I did not because I realized it's a moving target and you can't. I don't even know if it works. I don't even know if it if it's included in the gunship sequel physics, but I did not want to try. And since I'm not in the Blenheim, I don't have a machine gun in front, so I can't um, try to <laughs> dogfight with an HE-111. It would be funny though, Lancaster dogfighting with an HE-111. I think it would make a good thumbnail. 
and yeah as you see here one hit most of the time just takes out one engine uh sometimes two if you're not lucky so that is a problem so you should get used to having most of the time free engines to use if you have free engines you can uh, continue bombing the only thing is if you hit again uh then i don't think your plane will be recoverable um so yeah and as you see uh when one or two engines are hit the fuel consumption is is even lower than before because by default it's really low so i don't think 20 percent fuel would be enough with three engines or two engines it's nothing basically it's just <laughs> it's like it geez, it's like the oil became sticky it's just just it just takes loads of time i've never emptied a fuel tank each time i play the normally map not once uh, so yeah and the good thing about lancaster is that the tail turret and the center turret the two can um can attack a gun at the same time so it would be it would kill the gun more and as you just seen my two engines just fell out i do not know if this is a bug but probably is and now i have sort of a smoke that looks like um the one in gunship free uh when you're hit by a missile um but yes and my pilots just died trying to bail out on the ground so uh with the lancaster most of the time you won't have um enough time to bail out when you're hit badly and going <laughs> to the ground so um if you're against pilots dying and crashing, well, uh, don't play the Lancaster. Don't play this game, actually. It's with all planes that it happens. Um, and as you see, I've been monitoring my um, teammates and adversaries uh, because I'm looking out for enemy planes that could shoot me down. The Stuka could shoot me down, but most of the time just concentrates on its bombing unless it's um it's really an uh, annoying player but <laughs> sometimes as you see i've been um confronted to me 262s uh sometimes i have managed to shoot them down and most of the time i don't it's like there was a bf 110 attacking me um earlier in the video and i did not manage to shoot it down but that's that's normal that's um that's called gunship sequel and yeah so overall uh, for the lancaster i think it's a very good plane is it worth twelve thousand gold uh definitely not but you can't change the mind of the developer unfortunately and he's concentrating on something else for the moment so i suggest um you watch my video for having free gold and um but i'll probably update it soon it won't take a lot of time to do uh, the video the updates um and it's like it's i'm updating it the way you have to work less do less to get more gold uh with the technique that i will be using in the maybe next video or maybe the video after that uh, the updated version of how to get gold for free. I once got 610 gold per video. Once I got that, <laughs> and I was amazed. Um, so, so yes. Yeah, so if you're a beginner and you're wondering, and you bought by mistake or just bought if you really wanted to, and if you're stupid, uh, some gold, 12,000 gold and you want to buy the Lancaster, well, my response is yes, you can buy it, but don't expect great things at the beginning because uh, you need to adapt to machine guns. So that's why in settings I would, um, I would enable uh, a mode gyro control and also calibrate when you're with turrets because uh, sometimes I forget and I can't aim at all so calibrate when you're shooting in turrets and it'll be easier to shoot down planes uh, so yeah I think next video uh, maybe I'm gonna do the A20G Havoc the new American plane 
Oh, maybe I'm gonna do the FW one ninety A eight, I think, because I um bought it recently, and it seems it's I think it's better than the A three was A four something like that. Uh, so yeah, so if you want to spend twelve thousand gold on a bomber like this, I would suggest this instead of the B twenty four Liberator or the B seventeen because they're faster, much faster. Well, this one is uh, much faster, and um, well, the others are really slow. So, for example, on Hamburg map, you might be flying for like 15 minutes just to get to the objective, and then you might be shot down in one minute or 30 seconds, and then you have to do it all again. So, it's definitely definitely not something I would advise because Hamburg map, it, map is really annoying so yes and the good thing with the Lancaster is that well Normandy map is much more interesting than Hamburg I think because Hamburg is already always in um, high altitude and if you go um, down well then you stall and if you try to outstall by putting flaps and losing speed, then you can regain your speed. Um, air, or, the, or it'll take a lot of time, and you won't be able to come back to the to protect or destroy the other bombers. So it's a big problem. So that's why. No uh, anyways, I think that might end it for the video. I haven't seen. I've talked for a very, very, very long time. And I'm very sorry about this next video, I'll try to put more music, like in the Blenheim video. I hope you enjoy that, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Uh, don't forget to comment uh, what you like and what you don't like, of course. And yeah, I'll probably see you in the next video. It has been Southwinner8922. Uh, bye.